Yo, what's good, Team Certified? It's your boy Twiz here, man, and I'm just here because this has been a big issue into our music creator community that they don't understand how to register their music to be considered for a Grammy, who to be considered for a Billboard Award. award. And I just want to kind of do a quick tutorial on how you're supposed to go about that. So what I'm going to introduce to you guys is what's called Nielsen Sound Scan. So we'll pull up a uh, we'll pull up right here you can simply google it it's like right here you can simply google that nelson sound scan registration and it's legit the first thing that you see right there like literally just go ahead and click on it and it'll take you to the screen right here where it basically explains what it is um you know what what you need now before you register this one thing you're going to need to be able to have access to is the ucp code i mean upc codes and the ir uh isrc codes my bad it's all these different letters in here going in on me um so you want to make sure you have that so whoever your music distributor is you can um click on that and kind of get to your um you know your song and it has the metadata that's there and if you're not familiar what that is your IR, uh, isrc codes and the upc codes are basically like a tag that's on your music and that's how it is registered into this um, nielsen sound scan program so whenever it's played um, it can be tracked back to this and and if you look at official documents on a lot of these songs you will have to put in um, your isrc codes and your upc codes to be able to register these things and and what this does it, it's throughout the united states and canada so you know basically here in in america you, you'll be able to you know get registered for that and this tracks your streams and and, and it also tracks like the people who purchase and what's also cool is now there they have included music video registrations now that's really dope because if you think about on youtube they count those music video streams as part of like you know a stream for like a grammy or to, towards a billboard so they added this on here too so you can register a music video and of course if you still somehow rocking a dvd i ain't mad at you get your hustle alone but um you know if this is something right here you can go ahead and grab that but if you just wanted to register just one single um, you know, just a single, you just release a single, you can just really click here on release a track. Now it'll, it'll take it to you a little screen right here where, um, it just basically tells you what you need, the, the information you need to just register your stuff. So of course you'll need your email. It says it's required, uh, the country you choose to register for the exact name of your title. So this has, this information has to match what is in your music distributor. So I use, um, I'm using this distro kid for this example right here, tune course, it's a little bit different how you get to your things, but you know, district kid, you literally just click on your music and, and then you just click on your single, whatever it is, and then it'll pull up your information to where um your stuff will look and it'll take you to a page like this oh sorry that's the art right there my own me uh my latest single single uh time to go featuring jason Dow jason dow and rb i'm gonna talk tonight y'all so you have your um your upc code up top here and then you have your ir uh, isrc right here so you come back here um you know you want to put it in exactly how it is um your artist name who uh it doesn't include everybody who's on the track the main artist that's the main artist that you want to get right there and then right here like i just mentioned it it asks for your isrc code um for the song so you just copy and paste that into this selection here and uh most signals that are out right now um they go for the base price of 99 cent so you should be good you put the release date and um if you don't have a label which most of us don't we're independent just check independent and um this right here is just asking if you're basically associated with a, a distributor that um that's major okay so if you're if you if, uh, it says if your isrc code is not associated with the distributor please select indie and you'll just hit indie and you'll and you'll route to the next screen all right so it takes you to this next screen what type of code are you entering and it says if you have two or more upcs slash eans and use the upc ea and create it for your digital album so you want to put in upc code and you paste it here it says please enter the track number or uh, associate an album or single you just enter number one 
there's only one please select what genre so you know whatever your genre is rap hip-hop r&b hip-hop cool hit the next screen they ask you your full name and your phone number and then you just submit it and that's legit it that's all you have to do to register your your song into the database it's free you don't have to pay anything you don't have to pay anybody you just legit do that and there you go so you can't say i ain't give you no free gems no free game man this is this is just for the culture right here for all my music creators out here trying to you know figure this thing out man there ain't no ain't no ain't no handbook for this there is closely but um you know I'm trying to put it out there for the more people who need to do that, man, because the music won't be greater until we be greater, man. So I rather educate my people out there on the things that they need to know to make sure they're successful in their music career. All right. It's been another episode of five minutes of wisdom. If you haven't already, man, what you waiting for, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can come check out and get these gems, man. These free gems. I'm dropping right here. Boom. This is how we do it. All right. It's your boy Twiz. Another episode of five minutes of twism. Now, certified.